question that's come for you, Stuart. I'm just uh, selecting it now, and it comes from Max Thompson. And Max is asking, do you think that inspired creativity comes more often from a need or an opportunity, or does it come more often out of the blue with no obvious trigger? Well, it's a very good question, and it depends whereabouts specifically he'd um, be leaning to. I guess when it comes to the arts and film and TV and whatnot, I think it would certainly be from out of the blue. Like you often find that there's the most creative moments which people have, again, are sort of in moments where they have a lot of time to think about something, and then out of the blue, boom, they'll have an idea and it'll, you know, sort of develop into something. I can remember... Oh, it was uh, J.K. Rowling, for example. She got the idea of Harry Potter when she, her train was late and she just sort of imagined all these things. I know that um, Steven Spielberg, I believe, had got an idea for one of his films when he was driving in the car. Um, and very much so, like a lot of um, great inventors, I think it's a bit different. They sort of get their ideas when, you know, they recognize a need which needs to be met. Um, and there isn't a current product or service or something which is available yet which can meet it. Well, I th I th that's that's an incredibly good answer, uh, um, Stuart, because I think you're right. I think Max is asking for um, creativity in, or he may be thinking of creativity across a broad spectrum of places and an inventor is being as creative, the toy maker is being as creative, the movie maker is being as creative as the person who, who writes words and puts it into text, but the sources of their creativity may be driven by very different determining factors. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, a creative design in engineering, for example, I'm sure Max would go along with this, is determined by a whole set of other constraints creative design in typography, um, which is part, part and parcel of the making of the book or the newspaper or whatever, that's, that also has constraints. Uh, and making sermons has constraints. And I mean, the hardest one for me is finding what's the right length of time for a sermon. Mm. <laughs> Will it be you know, does the content mean that it's got a natural constraint of five minutes, in which case a whole lot of people will say, why wasn't the sermon longer, or, you know, um, or is the natural length of the sermon 45 minutes, in which case you'll have a whole lot more people saying, well, we're not coming back if you preach for 45 minutes. Uh, and I would have every sympathy for them. So each... each um, an individual endeavor, I think, Max, has a different set of constraints. And that may mean that the creative process sometimes comes from the constraints themselves and sometimes comes from out of the blue and who knows where. 